The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the rear microphone on the media mod. Let's see what it sounds like when you get up to speed. Whoa, up a second. What the hell is a media mod? What does it do? Let me show you. The media mod is basically an extension housing for your GoPro. It holds two cold shoe mounts to attach your favorite lights, mics, or LCD screens. It has a built-in directional mic, which reduces wind and ambient noise when compared to the onboard microphone on the GoPro. On the back, there are three ports. HDMI out to monitor or to play back your footage, a USB-C port for charging quick access or uploading footage to computer, and a 3.5 millimeter mic port that lets you add an external mic for enhanced audio because unfortunately, the GoPro itself still does not have a 3.5 millimeter port built in. The mic adapter from earlier versions still work with the Hero 10. So yes, you can use them, but you would need to remove the battery door completely to gain access to the USB-C port leaving the battery and internals completely exposed, which is not ideal. To fit the media mod, all you need to do is remove the battery door from the GoPro, slide the GoPro into the media mod and close its latch until you hear the... And yes, the GoPro Hero 9 media mod fits the Hero 10. You don't have to buy another one. Thank goodness for that. Now, when you go into your GoPro settings, you'll see an added media mod function that allows you to choose either the front, back, or camera microphone. If you plug in an external mic like what I usually do for moto vlogging, it'll override all microphone sources automatically. All right, now you know what the media mod does. Let's hit the road and test and compare all the microphone sources in different riding conditions. Test. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the GoPro microphones, the built-in internal standard old GoPro microphones. Didn't that guy just caught a fish. How good is that? The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the front microphone of the media mod. How does it sound? Hey, 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 yeah. Front microphone, oh yeah. The audio you're hearing right now is from the rear microphone. How does it sound? Yo, 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 yo. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the Purple Panda microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, how does the Purple Panda sound? Now this is my go-to microphone all the time. It's more of a comparison thing, but yeah. Purple Panda. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the GoPro. How do I sound? Oh yeah. The audio you're hearing is coming from the front microphone. Front one, baby. Oh, yeah. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the rear microphone. How does that sound? How do I sound? The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the internal Purple Panda microphone. The audio you're hearing right now is from the GoPro microphone. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the front microphone. The front one, baby. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the rear microphone. The rear microphone. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this stretch. Woohoo! The audio you're hearing now is coming from the Purple Panda microphone. I don't know why I'm yelling. I should have to yell. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Check this out, man. Woohoo! It is valid. It looks sick. Monte Carlo. Nice. He's on his phone. Get off your butt. I think that we can all agree that the front facing mic and the GoPro mics sound pretty bad, especially at speed. The rear microphone though sounds relatively okay considering it's outside of the helmet. I'm keen to hear your thoughts though, so let me know in the comments below. Just so you know, for testing purposes, I have not added an EQ to the audio in post. I will now though. This is how it sounds. The audio you're hearing right now is coming from the rear microphone on the media mod. Let's see what it sounds like when you get up to speed. Also, this was my very first time using ND filters with the Hero 10 and look, the hypersmooth issue is still there. This is so disappointing. I mean, this has been happening since the Hero 8 now and it's still here with the Hero 10. Are you serious? I was using an ND32 here, which could be a little bit too dark, but I'll make it my mission to find a workaround for you guys. Come on, GoPro, what the hell? The windsock on this thing holds up pretty well. It takes a bit to get off. So this is the back and this is the tab here that you pull. And, you know, oh, there it is. If I was cruising down the freeway at 110 k's an hour, I'd probably take it off because you don't want to lose it. If you lose it, then you have to find another one, get a GoPro and all the stuff, and who knows how the hell, you know. The better than the Hero 8s, apparently. The Hero 8s come off pretty easy. These lock in nicely. Yeah, it clips on pretty well. But yeah, I ride with it on. It's pretty cool. By the way, this is how it sounds with the windsock off.
cons that I've found with the media mod so far is that you can't have the front and back mics running at the same time. Because when you get to show something and you turn the camera around, this is how it sounds. To switch between them, you need to stop recording, flick the mic over, then resume recording. If you need to change the battery over, which you most likely will, you need to completely remove the GoPro from the media mod, which can be a little time consuming and a handful. It'd be nice to see a quick access door in future models. With the media mod attached, the GoPro is now not waterproof. It's water resistant, but it's not intended for underwater use. Some of you guys have written in asking how it would go in rain while you're charging it. So USB-C on the back. It's got a little flappy boy, it obviously doesn't weather seal. But in saying that, I don't know if you can see it, but right around that USB-C input, it is all rubbery. So I don't know if they've tried to create like a bit of a weather seal there. I think, like I think that's, I think it's actually okay, hey. I think you might be safe to ride this, like not heavy rain, drizzle, like you know, you guys in the UK always with that miserable rain. I think it actually work, I think it could be fine. I know the Hero 8 is completely exposed, which is horrible, but this is this is not bad. I'm looking at the 3.5 mil jack and that doesn't have a little rubbery boy there. So, and I'll, I know, you know, I'll be using that all the time with my helmet mic. I'm gonna do it, I'll do it. I'll screw my media mod up, I don't care. I'll do it for science. So the heat issue, it is now in a housing and housings trap heat. Now one of the biggest flaws that users are experiencing with the GoPro Hero 10 is the overheating and shut off issue when recording at 4K, 60 frames a second and above. And after recording for like 15 or 20 minutes. I haven't come across this issue yet. I usually shoot in 4K 30 frames a second and I'm usually always in motion. I have heard that slower memory cards can increase heat, so the higher the write speed, the better, which makes sense. And to also not leave the GoPro recording flat on a surface for prolonged periods of time. Most of the heat expels from underneath the unit, and if the GoPro is on a flat surface, it'll trap the heat underneath, causing it to overheat quickly and shut off. For best results, make sure the mounting hinges are flipped out as they do block some of the vents and that the GoPro is elevated to increase airflow. There is a lot of processing power going on in this thing and it needs all the help it can get. But again, hopefully they fix this issue in future models. Oh my goodness, GoPro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he smells so good. Still has that new smell. I love that new smell. New electronic smell? Mmm, that should make a deodorant. I would buy it. Maybe I'll invent it. Would you buy it? Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and also check out this video if you'd like to see how the GoPro Hero 10 performs as a moto vlogging camera. Is it good? Is it bad? I'll let you know.